Hey, thanks for watching Odd Jobs 2. On this next video, we're going to take an old uh, dresser, which is very dated and shabby, and instead of making it shabby, make it more chic than shabby. So it'll be shabby chic. Uh, I've done this many times before, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, long story short, this old dresser, and I've actually just been using it in the garage for storage. It was abandoned in a house I bought, prior house. So I just use it for storage. Not the best quality. It's primarily oak construction and it has that classic uh, 70s, 80s look where everything was rounded. Uh, it's kind of built in that old school um, waterbed style. Real oaky, rounded corners. Not a lot of uh, detail. So anyway, we're going to give it a more of a uh, pottery barn look to it. I'll paint it black. I'll probably reconfigure the shelves and uh, do something a little bit more decorative with it and turn it into, uh, I don't know, like a buffet or something like that. Um, something to put shelves in or baskets or knickknacks or what have you. Uh, in any event, first thing I want to start with is we're going to cut off the front uh, edge molding. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to cut it back more than I usually would prefer uh, based on how it was uh, constructed, but that's okay. And we'll cut it and uh, we'll cut it straight all the way across and then I'll, I'll measure the width and we'll come in and, uh, and nail on molding around there. Um, that will be step one. So I'll go ahead and cut that off now. Okay, I cut off the edge here. I may have to build that up with some uh, extra material. Um, and uh, now my next step is to, this pops out a little bit here. I'm actually going to take this and cut this down flat. And I'm also going to cut it a little bit wider here because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on uh, a piece of hooded casing on the front. So that'll be the next step is uh, cutting that and then notching it out a little bit. Okay, I got the side pieces on and there. Um, the top was a little bit warped and poofed up. The top actually, <clears throat> unfortunately, um, has a part particle board center, so uh, had to glue it back down and uh, with Gorilla Glue and clamp it. So we'll let that dry uh, overnight, and then uh, we'll keep working on it from there. Okay, I'm pretty much done. This is pre-paint, so. You can see I got the detailed edge in, the crown molding. So now it looks all, or the, uh, I guess it's not crown molding, but uh, fluted casing and uh, nice millwork. And uh, you can see the edge. I had to put that strip in to build, uh, to build it up after I cut off the rounded corner. So you can kind of see that right there. And then took a uh, really good wood putty and built that up. So right now we're pre-paint. And I'm probably going to start putting a couple coats on. Put the shelves in. And took out all the uh, cabinet uh, drawer holes. And uh, all the brackets. You can see them down there. Some more of them down there. So filled in all the holes put in some shelves and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting okay here's the completed piece just have to put a couple more coats of paint on it see the fluted casing Pretty nice looking shelves. See the top.
detail work. Not bad. Or a old, normally discarded piece of furniture. So, it's kind of renewed and I probably only have about cost of materials, 10 bucks into it and uh, some sweat equity and uh, I am very pleased with the outcome. So, hope you enjoyed it.